Anyway, I want to I want to welcome everybody um, to our third uh, healing event for the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, it's pretty powerful. That's all I have to say. I'm a little scattered. I it was just one of those days. I had a really disturbing phone call from my stuff up my sister. I have a great niece that has a brain tumor and um, it's un inoperable and they got some news that uh, it has grown, the cancer has grown. So, um, and there's nothing that we can do. She's an angelic and she chose this path for herself. And uh, my nephew is not awake. So uh, he doesn't realize that she's, I mean, for my, my telling him this is not gonna help him because he doesn't believe in what we're doing. Um, so, uh, I would like to send some healing for my, uh, our great niece, Kyla, at least to help her through this. Deb, Deb, shall we all do it at the end? Yes. Yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll all do it because we'll be in the, in the zone and we'll all I'm going to suggest that. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, I wanted to introduce myself for any new people here today. I think we a couple that don't know who we are. Uh, this is my husband, Rick, and I'm Deb. And uh, my husband's energy, my husband merged with uh, Source God Creator's energy in about 2016. Uh, and uh, when that happened, I started getting downloads. Every time he would talk about somebody who was sick, I would uh about them. And I didn't understand why. I, I have no medical background. And we didn't realize at that time that he was actually healing them when I was getting that information. So uh, we went to a friend of ours who was a channeler and our angel Michael came through and said that Rick was Rick is a healer and we're a partnership. And when he scans somebody, I get the downloaded information. We also get uh, their past life information, which uh, the first information coming through would be any past life traumas that needs to be healed. Um, and we also receive, we can tell you your angels, your guides. Uh, um, I can't remember. I'm, I usually have some things written in front of me and I can't find it, which makes it easier for me to remember what to say to you. But it, anyway, um, yeah. that's about it. Yeah. Let me have Phil go on from here because this is a little bit longer than ours. But that's what we do. Okay. <laughs> it won't be able to say. <laughs> uh, I started healing at four or five. I was healing the goldfish, like everyone does at that age. Well, that's what I thought everyone did, but obviously not. Uh, as a young age, what I used to do, I used to get a lot of visions in my eye. When I used to close my eyes, I could see images coming loads at a time, loads and loads and loads. And trying to make a picture of it was unusual, but it's fascinating. It was like watching a film. Uh, I I could do angelic tongue at seven or eight. I could create weather. Nothing big. I just thought everyone else could do it. <laughs> no one told me, no, they can't and, until it was late, later in life. Uh, started doing warrior work at about 10 to 15. Uh, also at work, where I was working, I used to give everyone healing. And then in about 20 years ago, I uh, went to a, an healing course for two years at a college and became a credited dealer. I'm also a crystal credited dealer as well. And uh, every 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 time we do this, uh, it's something new. <laughs> you know, it just doesn't stop and you don't, that's it, that's it. You've learned everything, you learn everything every time. And you learn from healing using earth energy, then you use different frequencies, different angelic flames, different energies from different planets. and it, can be quite amazing what, what we actually see. Uh, and it's quite honor, honorable to actually connect. When you heal someone, you both energies connect. And that's quite fascinating how that actually, actually happens. Yeah, I was gonna say if everyone's ready, then it'll be Janine will be first. She would like a scan for, I think it's a daughter shall be. Uh, via photo which she sent to you guys by messenger she did okay 
she has PTOS, which is a hormonal condition. Um, Your name? Well, yes. Uh, Her what's name. Her name. Shelby. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You can take it down, Janine. Thank you, Rick. You're welcome. What is it with these curses? Mm. It's giving me a headache. Mm. I can't focus. Can you pick that up, Phil? I I can't even focus. It's giving me a headache. I can I can picture an old man. Oh, an old man. It's making me nauseous. There's something in her head. She she is on something for uh, depression. She just can't beat it. cerebral whatever it is this um it's in her brain there's something placed in her brain it's in the back of her head If you'll let me, um, I'm hearing they want me to give you light language to assist with that. I know Father's right there, but the Galactics are stepping in to assist. Thank you. Is she always had difficulties? Only the less, well, not as a child, no. Hmm. I want to uh, say the last s- several years. I'm, I'm picking up a past life, actually. Uh, normally we don't enter this world, but it's something to do with the Middle East. I'm actually picking that up. Yeah, I'm trying to clear it, actually. Uh, uh, okay. It's like a memory, it's come through. It's not an alien implant, right? No. No, it's a t- it was an attachment. Um, 
but it didn't come it's not like a lost soul it came from somewhere else from and like you said it's from a it's it came from a past life I think but it's oh my god it's almost like a witch doctor put something I, I can't even explain it I don't even know how to but it's, 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 it's from the Middle East anyway it's Mr. Middle East I'll, I'll, I'll try and clear it it was hard enough finding it Whoever, whoever did this in the past life, it was actually uh, family related. Okay, I'm, quite, I'm trying to clear it now. It's her father. It's just taking a, a bit. I was going to say, Deb, it had to be from her father's side. <laughs> no, it was her father in, in this past life. I think the curse, she was too young. The curse is void. Okay. Do you get that? You can't do a curse on under an age. Uh, so they were doing the curse, so they broke a, a rule that I'd gone back in their timeline. So, yeah. so see, I, see if she's an improvement of that. Yeah. Yeah, she'll still need healing, though. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. She planned to be here, but something happened. She's in Tallahassee, and um, she's at the hospital with a friend. So, uh, but that's how she is. She's like, yeah. Thank you. I'll I'll just send her some healing because I sent the healing before I broke the. So it would have been wise to send the healing after the break, if you know what I mean. So just give us a minute. Uh, can you get, have you got any crystals? 
Have you got a red one? Uh, red dragon crystal, yes. Yeah. Just hold it. Mm-hmm. Think, tell the crystal to help, and just let her borrow it for a while. Okay. okay. I, I keep her in crystal, so I'll make sure she gets it as soon as I right. see her. Okay, a red one. Yes. For the root, the root chakra, basically. Thank you. To clear it. Okay. Thank you. What a beginning. <laughs> Something new every time. I know. I know. These energies are bringing out a lot. Um, thanks, Wendy. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you. Okay. Um, have you guys finished? Or? Oh, did you want to do a card? Okay. A card for her or for yourself or one each? I I do cards for her. One for myself? Yeah. Yeah. Tell us when to stop. I'm shuffling some cards. Can you tell me when to shut? Stop. That's good. No? That's yeah. So the guidance card from the angels is how power. Can't see it. The other way. The other yeah. way. It's it's all glared. Oh. Try it. There you go. Power. There you go. <laughs> well that I means what the angels are saying. Uh, we all have the power to create. Do I have divine love and wisdom intelligence is available so you can use this uh, with with yeah you can uh, oh, sorry sorry you can use this to help your daughter that it was that card for you it was wasn't it so you got you can cr create as well so use the angels to help you do you want one for as well sure tell us stop that's good Ah, uh, there you go. Blessings. Ooh. Which is a, probably the best card you could get in the situation you've asked us. Uh, you're getting extra blessings because of the difficulties you're, you're, you're going through at the moment. So. Hello. Thank, Thank you. you. I love that. Thank you. Um, next, we have Zach. He sent a picture uh, of his father for a scan. Have you got the picture, Zach? Yeah, I sent that over in Messenger to the group. I got me some. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't know how to share it on here. I don't have a, one with me. Where'd you send it, Zach? To Phil's group. There you go. Is that enough? Have you got it, Deb? Let us know. Put it forward just a little bit. Hmm? Put it on share, Phil. How do you put it on share? I can see. Okay. There we go. So yeah. just a. Uh, I've got it. All right. Okay. Does he need healing, Zach? By the way. Yeah. Um, if possible, two things. One, he's had some troubles with his right eye. Like he can't see uh, anything through it anymore. Mm -hmm. And since he got the jab, like a couple months ago, he's just kind of gone downhill. So you, you want me to try and reverse this, the darkness of the boxing, yeah? Yeah, whatever you guys can do. I, jab, whatever. What, I'm sure you'll get whatever in the scan. What's his oh. name? His name's Garland. Okay.
How old is he, Zach? Uh, he is 81. When you say, uh, Zach, when you say since the, the job he's done downhill, what's actually gone wrong since the job? So he's like energy wise, he doesn't have any at all. He's does he have he pain? Here? Does he have pain here? And is one of his shoulders? I, I believe so. Yeah. Okay, I've connected them. Okay. So, so he's just exhausted all the time because obviously he's not getting the oxygen around his body enough. Yeah. Yeah. He he's just not himself. It's it's so, changed him big time. So his his blood needs uh, needs cleansing. Okay, I'll send uh, crystal source energy and a few cells. Keep me informed anyway. After Is he diabetic? Not, not that I'm aware of, no. Once the um, toxins from the vaccine is removed, then we can start doing healing. Do I do the healing now, Deb? Yeah. That's now in his kidneys. Zach, when did you actually have the job? Roughly when? I know you mentioned it, I've just forgot. I think it was just a couple of months ago. His kidneys are healed now. His eye. They check up her cataracts. 
he had some blood build up in the back of his eye or something. And I don't know what it did, but he's basically blind in it now. It's the same thing your mother had. I see it in the back of it. <sighs> I've done the healing. Uh, have you done it? Uh, I'm getting the message that this is something he asked to experience, so. I've, I've tried flushing his eye with light. Uh, let us know if there's any improvement. His eye was before the vaccine, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If it's a contract, can that be broken? Because uh, maybe enough's enough. <laughs> that would be Archangel Michael going before a whole board and that's sad I, I could I could try I like that sort of real breaking <laughs> so, I've tried anyway I've tried to push push yeah. it clean so yeah I don't go with contracts anyway. well, I know you don't <laughs> Archangel Michael's laughing at you. <laughs> He's shaking his head. <laughs> oh, too crack for him. The thing is that the actual what I've sent into his cells, which is crystal source energy, which is the blueprint of humanity, it might help his eyes as well. That might be a side effect. You can see uh, that there's a pressure behind it. I thought maybe it was an attachment. It's not. It's almost like... Um, say it's almost like high blood pressure or glaucoma but it's only the one eye But um, it's gone down since Phil, Phil did the healing. It's almost like it just went down to like this minute amount. So he, he, Phil's helped it a lot. He's got a lot of arthritis in his um, shoulders, his back, his hands. So I'm doing some healing to ease that a lot his knees, his feet, just osteoarthritis. You got a card that for? See what the angels say. Yeah, that'd be great, man. I'll try and leave Michael's card out. <laughs> You're funny. How is what? That was good. There you go. Music, music. So what he should be doing, he should be listening to the vibration, the frequency of music to get into the healing. That's what the guidance says. 
You want one or not? Absolutely, man. Of course. <laughs> it's a fiber card, by the way. Okay. Tell us what. That's good. You'd probably say, here's my bank account, then, so. <laughs> uh, uh, soulmate. Hmm. I don't know what that Eh, uh, so mate, so mate. You can you can meet someone with your same goals. Yeah. I think it, I think that's a, that's more like a spiritual soulmate. You get what I mean? You can teach it. That's what I think that is. Uh, okay. So. Follow your art and let your growth flow without blockages. So it's like the next stage of your spiritual growth. That's the guy. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Do you want some healing as well? I'm sorry. Do you want some healing as well as a scan? Do I want any healing? Absolutely. I okay. love healing. You know, <laughs> is there anywhere in particular or is just healing everywhere? Um, I'm not real sure to be honest. We, like, I don't have any physical ailments to my knowledge. I'm, I mean, I have like psoriasis, but that's not, I, I'm not sure. Like, should you run a scan? <laughs> I know all that about me. I'm new to this. I'm like a baby, man. Okay. It's okay. Okay. You got me blushing. Hmm. <laughs> I'll, I'll send you some healing. Yes, sir. Summer, I need to. you I need you back up in front of me, so I need you to talk again, please. Yes, ma'am. Here I am. Can you hear me now? Yes, yeah, that's good. Thank you. Did you feel that then? I did. Okay. Did. Yeah. Hmm? I did. Thank you. You have an attachment in in your uh, your root chakra. Um. I want to say it's been there a long time. <clears throat> when you think you have an attachment or when you feel like you have an attachment, you, pr you pretty much have an attachment. <laughs> so you always go with your instincts, always go with your what you're feeling. This is not a lost soul. This is like a tracker. What's a tracker? You don't mind me asking. It's like um it's a device. Yeah, what, a what that means, an implant. Oh, wait, so I have an implant. You have an from, implant. From where, though? Let's see, that's what I'm... You have more than one. She has one in the back of her neck. She has one in her head.
We haven't seen these in a long time. You have one in your right arm. You have one in your right foot. You have one in your left ankle. Want me to remove them, or you're tracing them back to who they came from? Yeah, I'm, I'm exactly where they are now. <laughs> Don't remove them yet. <laughs> I might not get back. Yeah, reptilian. That's in the underground boat. Right, you can remove them now if you want to, or we can. Okay. You may feel, um, be removing them now, okay? They're all gone. Thank you so very much. Relax. It's okay. You got a card? And, uh, we rescued one of ours where we were. <laughs> we brought one back. <laughs> so we actually saved some. Right, tell us when to stop. Got a card? I'll stop for you. It's that one. <laughs> no, I won't. That's not that one. And so she, she said, okay. stop I'm near. Echo. Hmm? Okay. Right, I'm good. Right. Stop now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, friendship. Friendship. Remember, this is guidance of the cards, of the angels, basically. Friendship is. You basically surrendering friends that are, haven't got your interests anymore and getting new friends that have got your interests. So you're like replacing some to replace, to get ones that, that have the same interests as yours. Does that make any sense? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Which is good. We you get the angels say, yeah, that's, that's what you should be doing. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Gotcha. I really do appreciate y'all. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much. Um, next, we got Debbie for a scan. Debbie? Hi. Hi. Deb. Do you want some healing as well? Yeah. Okay. Anything particular? Everything. Uh, my neurological problems.
Has anything improved since uh, healing for any of the healing that we've done before? Yeah. Um, I'm not having as much pain as I used to. Yeah. Do you ever feel a pressure on your head? Um, well, I've been having, no, I wouldn't call it pressure. Mm -mm. What have you been having in your head then? It's like, um, almost like zapping. Is it here? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I was trying to work out what it is. Spider. You love your spiders, though. <laughs> hmm? I don't love them. That's what I'm seeing. You brought the area up, and that's exactly what they showed me. Oh, I'm sick of the spiders, to be honest with you. <laughs> What are you seeing? I'm creating a, a spider eating thing. I'll send it to you afterwards, Deb, if you want. This one's different. It's got um, different colors on it. It just changed. They got blue eyes. <laughs> hmm, interesting. So is there an outside influence doing this to her too? should go now I've created some of it to, we'll eat it and then uh, it'll come back and then it'll go to Deb's house is that okay Deb <laughs> you can have it we're it's like it's like an hippopotamus munching spider you gotta be you gotta be, have a visualization for that sort of thing yeah, okay. <laughs> so that should be okay now what about, do I have any attachments or anything? The only thing I could feel is this for right there. That's all I could feel. Yeah, I wasn't getting anything else too. Some, uh, quite a while ago, someone had said that um, I had the, like a tightness around right um, underneath my breasts. And it feels makes me feel like I have a hard time breathing. And he said that it was my brother. And he comes keeps coming back. And someone had said that they could talk to him. Do you know who that who I could contact mm -hmm. to get rid of him? He, he's not there at the moment, though. No. Uh. Uh. Probably just visiting. In our group. No. Yeah. It was someone in the group that said that they could talk to him. The I, problem, I'm, the I'm, problem I'm, is he's not there now, mm -hmm. so we can't talk to him until he's there. Okay. I don't know. The videos are on the site if you want to play back that video oh that's a good idea yeah okay thank you duh <laughs> what i didn't hear you maybe you'll know who it is who said it yeah yeah 
Do I can. Sure. That was one. When? Stop. I don't even remember half the stuff that's said in here because I'm. I I'm in the zone as well. Romance. Well, that's something different. <laughs> <laughs> Your prayers for love are being answered. <laughs> but it can be, romance can be prayers for love and material. It depends what you, what you, what you want in life. So romance can be quite a wide selection. Hmm. Okay. Are you, are you praying for romance? I'm praying for romance. I'm praying for friends. I'm praying for money. I got a lot of problems. <laughs> praying for my daughter. Oh well, yeah. Your prayers will be answered with that woman or your, your romance. That's good. Don't forget about gratitude. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. Um, next, we've got uh, Vincy Kelly. I think her name is. Hello. Hi. Vincy. Hi. How are y'all doing? Doing great. This is my first time as well, guys. So. I thought for sure I would ask for maybe a body scan. I have a, um, enlarged, there's some nodules on my thyroids that they keep trying to send me to the doctor to do different things for, and I'm just not with it. How long have you had them? Um, I've noticed it. I've noticed it for about a year and a half or so. Um, there was something that showed up back, I want to say, in 2000. 12 or 11 that um, showed up in a scan and I had to do a few things for it. I keep getting fine needle aspirations and there's like, I think there's four of them right now. Um, I've been doing iodine treatments, thyroid, like uh, holistic stuff, things like that. Okay. Just relax and I'll uh, see what I can do. Do you have a lot of stress in your life? Yes, ma'am, a ton. That's it right there. Stress. It stays in your head. And when yes, it's sir. full, when it's full, it leaks to here. So you gotta you gotta find a way of releasing it. Oh I can release it now, but it'll come back in a week or two. Is it your, yes. your job is it what you're doing as a job or um I'm a I'm a stay-at-home mom who is uh two years in clean into recovery so i mean it's it's been a little hell of a ride until this point and from this point forward I ha i'm looking at a long road which is fine it's it's a lot of stress in the home codependency a lot a lot of things that i'm trying to break free of here single mom of three boys no you know I've been saying ch change your habits, change what you do. Don't make it every day the same day as the day before. You might go to a park or do whatever you can, you know, whatever you can do. Just change your habits, completely okay. change it. And uh, change the mundane, you know. Yeah, yeah, connect with your inner child and become the child with your children. Okay, yes sir. Enjoy them. Don't, don't do it as a minute. Like, like a, I'm mum, I've got to bring you up. Become them. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you some healing to de stress if you want. Okay, thank and, you. Uh, but remember, you, you're manifesting that by how, you, how you're living, basically. Right, and I'm a stay at home mom. Um, it should be, I'm a stay at home mom. I'm the mother of three. You're looking at a mother of three boys. <laughs> oh, awesome. It gives me inspiration. It does because, you know, you get out of the addiction 
part of life and then you get to this phase and you're like oh wow now i've really got to do the shadow work i've really got to dig i've really got to you know I, i've been trying to expand and do all the things that sudden it suddenly happened i didn't know what i was doing or what was going on i was just like guided to like reach out to crystals reach out to tarot like reaching out and uh it's kind of what's been keeping me from being in my head so much and it's it's able to work hold on Hello. Hi, I'm sorry, I was muted. Yeah, it's fine. I don't know. I think Deb's gone, has she? Disappeared. Uh, did you feel that? I did feel that. Yeah. Uh, what, what I've been told... Right, so you've started doing spiritual crystals. Do you do meditation? Meditation, yes sir, cards, candles, um, just growing my own little herbs and stuff. Wait, which meditation do you do? I, I was doing a 15 minute chakra opening meditation. Um, I'm hearing impaired, so it's really, sometimes it's hard for me to do uh, meditations that you have to listen to unless I have like the right setup. So I've, I've been kind of back and forth with trying to find different ones. It do a relaxing meditation, a proper meditation. That's not a relaxing meditation by actually doing spiritual work. You need to just ground yourself a bit. Ground yourself. Okay. A grounded meditation. Okay. Okay. You know where, where Deb's gone? Deb's gone, aren't you? <laughs> Do you want to yeah, I think she disappeared. I don't know. I think it could have been internet issue. I don't know. Yeah. But you can uh, pull a card, I suppose. I'll, uh, do you want to tell us where? Okay. Well, I... The internet was rebooting. <laughs> so, what we were doing there? Healing. Yes, sir. Yeah. So the angels are saying. So, you're focusing on everything too much. Yeah, you gotta focus on healing yourself. If you focus on things too much, the healing doesn't come through. Okay. So more relaxed. Grounding is the, is the correct one. So okay. uh, a grounding meditation. Uh, I didn't pick any... Uh, I de-stressed you. How's your lumps? Did that change? Um, actually, this one's not as sticking out as far as it was to the side. Yeah. So, because this one is sticking out further because the one underneath it's so large, it just makes this one actually look larger. But it's kind of like maybe it feel like it gave a little bit on the side right here. Okay. A good way of trying to de 
he's trying to get this stress, trying to take it out and let it go. You gotta man visualize it just leaving. Yeah? Bring it in energies if you want. But you've got to release it. At the moment you're releasing it into your weak point and that's your neck. You need to, to let it go. And then you've got to find a way, get a meditation, get a grounding technique so you don't keep it. Yeah, yes, sir. It goes all the time. Okay. Okay. That's well. Thank you so much. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, I didn't pick anything, any implants, any, not, nothing. At all. Yes, sir. So it's just your, you're doing well with spirituality, but you got to think what you're doing. Don't just go, oh, I'll do crystals, I'll do chakras. Think about healing, grounding, okay. meditation. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Bill, I think um, uh, Debbie's um, rebooting a computer, so I don't know if Wendy is on still. Wendy, can you? Her phone was running out. Yeah, I thought Wendy can speak. I am still on. Can you yeah. hear me? Yeah, before you. <laughs> no, no, your phone's just cut out. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you are trouble. <laughs> yes, sir, you are. Um, so I guess I've just been having a pretty exhausting week from healing and stuff that I've been doing. And so I'm just actually looking for an energy recharge and, um, and pull a card. <laughs> pull a card. Yeah. Sure back you, yeah. I'm your Jorah seller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. Well, I, I I recently learned that you're actually one of my guides too. So there's my one of your guides. <laughs> you didn't know that, huh? Yeah. Can I can I charge you for that? I think so. I think so. I think I I, I realize that I, I owe you a few a few shekels. <laughs> we, yeah, we've known each other. You opened up at the uh, Stone End, didn't you? And then everything yeah. just went further and further. So, okay, I'll uh, just one sec. Deb's back. Hi, Deb. I I have to turn my video off because I need my other hand and I'm holding okay. my phone. So, all right. okay, I'll, I'll give I'll give uh, Wendy some healing, and then we can talk about it. Energy. Oh, but I turn my video off. <laughs> How's that, Wendy? Wendy? Um, Wendy, I'm on mute here. Uh, I picked up. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to unmute. Oh. I picked up pick some, up? someone has siphoned your energy. Someone you, you've been working with the last two weeks, there was some siphoning your energy. The cord's been cut, so yeah. that make any sense. Yeah, I had a, a suspicion. Yeah, I've, I've had somebody who's been reaching out who's been talking about having, um, you know, no birds and all kinds of other weird stuff. So I'm not surprised, and I had suspect about it. it it's been cut. 
It wasn't. It wasn't. Thank you very much. It wasn't powerful cord. It could cut. Some of them can be steel and everything. You can't cut. Mm. How do you protect from that? <laughs> I mean, we're healing all the time, right? So, are they accessing when, like, um, maybe like to a chat? I, I think you can put. You, you can put. You can. You, you can just, put. Like, trying to assist that way by having conversations. Or yeah, you can. You can put shields around you, but sometimes you might be like me. Or you get bit. Yeah, I can't be bothered with that. I'll just. And then that's what happens. And then yep. it, it gets into you, and you don't even know it's it's into you, and you're thinking, "Why are you exhausted all the time?" Uh, yeah. I love like it. All right, more shielding, more shielding, more shielding. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think because I'm like you have dragons around all the time, that I think I don't need to do that. You know what I mean? And plus, I already know well, I do have shielding, but I guess I have well, to conscientiously. They, they might even know. It's your lesson to, to work that one out. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. so okay. yeah, our protectors right. don't always protect us because at the end of the day it's a learning curve. Yeah. yeah. Lesson. Hmm. Lesson noted. Thank you. <laughs> All right, do the card. Do the card. <laughs> no. I, I had one and I, it, I had uh, a spiritual vampire nearly killed me. Really did nearly kill me. Oh my kill. gosh. But uh, <sighs> they, some of them are very, very greedy, and you can't channel more energy. They channel more out of you than you get in, and that becomes a lot of less life force. Yeah. I've only had one way I had to get. I had to ask for help. Okay, stop. Hmm? Uh, I, said, I was I was saying stop for the card. <laughs> what are you saying? Was that in light language? <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Trust. I wouldn't trust everyone, though. <laughs> you just had a. How can you have that card when you just had an ending number? Trust. All right. Just trust your own beliefs. Yeah, tr tr trust your trust your beliefs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Did you get anything right, there? There it is. Yeah. yeah. Did you get anything? What? No. Did you get anything for Wendy? It's catching up. Sorry. Yeah, I heard you got a photo beat. She has an attachment. Did you get the attachment? I was cutting the cord. <laughs> you have an attachment at the back of your neck. <coughs> it's an implant. Did you ask for an implant? Did you ask for a channel? No, I did not ask for an implant. Um, hmm. and I mean, I know that I'm supposed to be doing like uh translation and that for some of the galactic work, so unless it's that, um, is it a good thing or a bad thing? That some implants can be good, and I always ask, is it beneficial or disruptive? Is it part of the siphoning? It's not a good implant to me. I'm just thinking it could be part of the siphoning. I cut the cord, but I didn't really investigate it. Look, you take a look at the one. It's it's, it's where the spine and the neck. Do you want to remove it? Yes, please. A, a thousand pounds, please. All right. Coming your way <laughs> in uh, spiritual gold. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you an extra crown, a gem, a gem for your crown. <laughs> it's a deceiving implant. Supposedly, it's supposed to look like it's for channeling, but it's not. 
that's what the message I'm getting. Little sneaks. I don't think I've had it very long. No, you haven't. I you know what? Like maybe. What I would weeks, do is, maybe. what I would do is, whoever you channel, try and send an energy signal into them and bring some of back of them, and just feel the energy. Because sometimes tricks energies can look like Archangel Michael and they can feel like it. But when you can taste the energy, they're not. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Nice heat, thank you. It is a deceiver implant. Was that during the channeling group? I don't know where you got it, to be honest with you. Um, I'm trying to think. I feel like I remember when it happened because I was like, ow. Like, I felt like I felt the pain happen in the back of my neck. And I was like, okay, what is that? And then I was releasing the energy surrounding it. But then I could still feel like it was still bothering me, whatever it was. Was that that group that you went on with an H on it? Because we're on live, I'll just say the word H. Is it the H group? Yes. Right, okay. I don't want to call it again. Mm, no. Um, when I felt that happen, I think it was a smaller group that I was working with. And there was another group that I was working with with uh, doing meditations. So it... I mean, you're working, 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 right? So hard to say, but I did feel it when it happened. Okay, I'm not gonna argue. Yeah, I'm just gonna read it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It, maybe, I don't know. Right. I sent some fire, uh, dragon flame through it. Whoever's on the receiving end. Thank you. Is it gone, Deb? It's gone. Thank mm. you. Welcome. Shield, shield, shield. I will I learn my lesson. Yeah. Thank you. One moment. Much, much love to you guys. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. okay. Um, next we have got Dean. Um, Dean? Dean? Hello. I, sorry, I missed the Adiana. How are you doing today? Doing fine. I'd okay. love to have a body scan and a healing face. Uh, mainly my right shoulder, but my right side feels very disconnected from my left. Have you had the V or not? It's just so, I know. That's not all. at all. <laughs> it's okay then. It's so if you need healing for that as well. Something okay. going fine. Deanna, can you speak again, please? I'm honored to be here with you all. Thank you so much.
You have a big bulge in the middle of your back. You, you've got the. You feel like you have back. You have a really bad back. You have back pain. It, it's more in my right side. I don't know if it's a cord, but as you're saying that, it could be a bump. I haven't looked at it that way. I felt like it was an umbilical cord to a family member. Are you? It's your spine. Okay. Energetically, it feels like it's probably pulled more over to the right. I'm, I'm getting your, your chakras out of balance, maybe because of it. I'm just trying to work it out. You feel tired a, a lot. Oh, yes. As well, your body's out of balance. Your chakras out of balance. Feels like alignment through the dimensions. Mm. Oh yeah, now my sitting up taller. Feels like something to do with the universe and degrees. Pulled out of whack. She had something in her house. What, like a chair? Like a what? A chair? Yeah. Sorry. Flying chairs? Yeah, it's, it's half past one. And I'm just in a funny mood. I'm sitting on a chair. <laughs> He's giving me hell. <laughs> yeah, your chakras are getting balanced now. Do you do meditation? Yeah, I do. Visualize your chakras in like a figure of eight. Starting at the top and then going right to the bottom one. And then moving right to the bottom of that. So you're actually balancing them. Okay. That's how I tune them. And you can even use your hands in that okay. figure of eight. Or you can even use your hands in a, like a triangle. And then just go around the chakras in the meditation. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, do you want me to check the house? I think oh, she, I think hmm? check behind her. <laughs> check behind her. Right behind her. The, the light and the dark. <laughs> I think there's somebody right behind her. Oh yeah. Behind her right now. Sibling? Mother? No, I think there's somebody that's causing your problem right behind you right now. Okay. <sighs> The ex-husband. And your whole problem's right there. <laughs> if you ever have that pain again, you can always ground it. Ground the pain. And if it's someone it's something that's doing it, you can ground them into into the earth. Thank you. I'll just see if I can cleanse the house. That's okay. Please. It's like it's uh, grounding me and, and aligning me to balance with this new house that I'm in so I can be myself more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Have you saged the house? Um, just the basement, because um, uh, but that's a good idea. I could, I have the keys. I can go upstairs and smudge the whole thing. Is it a new? It's a new house, and I'll, I'll do a cleansing in the house if you want. Oh please, yeah. It's well, it's an older house, um, mm. but it's. Uh, I've been in here a month. 
Well, this cleansing, it only finished. Not, not for your own good, will get removed. But you still could get spirit, spirits in the house and stuff. As long as they're not affecting you. Thank you. I felt like I, when I scan, when we scanned her, that whoever was there jumped out of her and was standing behind her, the one that was giving her the pain. When you began all the sessions, I could feel all of the many things that were on me run away going, they're coming, they're coming. <laughs> <laughs> so when that happens, I can't, I can, I can't see them in the body. So when they if they jump out, and usually Phil can, right? But can see them on the outside. So maybe I need to close whatever those doors are. For some reason, I knew he was standing. He he. It was and it's a he standing behind you. Right. And I could. De De Deb, I wasn't actually sure. It's a positive. It was human actually. I don't think it's. I, I got oh. alien look. Yeah, I don't think it's human. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Your house is cleansed. Should be okay. Do you want a card? Please, thank you. So even when I look at my face here, my high heart activated and with not just heat flashes, but the energy of the vagus nerve goes up around the neck and I end up all the red and it's like I'm choking. So I'm not sure if that's in a uh, hormonal imbalance, but I haven't come across any other woman who's um, got it to this extreme and uh, understands and knows yeah. a secret on how to well, that, that was <laughs> That was the thing that was there and it's gone now. I was going to stop or be shuffling all night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a comedian tonight. Trust. Trust. Thank so you. The angels are saying, uh, yeah, hold on to your beliefs. Let the past go with lessons learned. So yeah. let's go forward, isn't it? Okay. Take my pearls of wisdom to in the moment now. It's pretty cool. Trust your messages. And I'm getting the message that you yourself are a healer. You yes. can heal. Trust. I, I can. And that's where I wonder if some of the pain is I took on other people's pain too. But well, you need to release that. If you're yes. healing else, you need to release their pain. Don't take it on yourself. I so think crystals better. Yeah. I, I think crystal? I think whatever went near you was attracted by your energy. So. Yes. Did you use the word crystal? Hold crystals if you're healing so that you're not taking on the, the um, their right. ill for a discharge with this if, if you're new at them. Okay. Like, it, don't take on their illness. Heal it and, <laughs> gr and let it go. Be when, before you get out of bed in the morning, ground yourself. Phil taught me Thank that. You, I yeah. don't do it though. Well, I was, I was waiting. <laughs> every day and I, and I was realizing I was come when I was going back in my body after our our nightly trips that um, uh, I felt like I was dragging my feet somewhere <laughs> someone was dragging me somewhere um, but I was in pain waking up every morning before I got out of bed so I it, once I mm -hmm. grounded myself the pain would immediately go away so whatever I was doing in, in the, you know during the night and out of my body um, once I woke up, if I grounded myself, I woke up pain free. Thank you. It's, I will, uh, I'll do that. Okay. Uh, just one thing, Deb, the, the Wendy incident, the, uh, the, the energy being drawn out and the implant at the same time. 
things. Whoever did the implant did the energy and vampirism. We've got, well, what do you call energy vampirism? When you drawing the energy out. Mm -hmm. The person, the entity that was taking energy out also put the implant in. Same, same one. Yeah. Right, next one, Sophie. Yeah, okay, thank you. Um, so we got Wilma next. Uh, she would like a healing. She has a fractured right foot. Wilma! Hey! Wilma, you fractured your foot. Yeah, I was klutzy. I've done it. I did my elbow too with the hose in the yard with the garden hose. <laughs> You know what I did yesterday, uh, Deb? I was tr doing my judo coaching at last after two years, and I was warming up the children, and I did my Achilles heel thing. And normally it takes two weeks, so I've been healing it today, but I'm okay, I can still walk on it, but uh, teaching little seven-year-olds, <laughs> I injured myself. You know, I did the garden holes, it had all the water in it, and I was doing it, because I, I it must have got caught in something. I was around the corner of the house and I kept pulling it going on. Oh, I don't want to walk all the way back there and try and unhook it from something. I pulled it so hard, it, it sprung back and I brought my arm with it and I yanked it so hard, it, I fractured my elbow. I, I chipped the elbow, the bone on the elbow. <laughs> Wilma, is it an airline fracture or a big fracture? No, it's a, it's a very small fracture. I think it's a hairline fracture. Um, it was probably partially my own fault, really. I think I'd had too 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 much of a dose of EMF on that day, and I was quite um, I was quite dizzy by Monday. It was Monday two weeks ago. Um, I was quite dizzy by that evening, and I decided I'd go to bed. And I got up and I kicked the foot of the lounge with the corner of like my pinky toe. So it's and it felt like it jarred all the way back, and I had some bruising and some swelling for. A few days they all subsided but i still was not able to really walk on it so at the moment i just go around the house and drag my foot behind me <laughs> right. tell us if you can feel any pain when i, I send the energy into the spot what you do is you you've got you got to try and send a lot of heat a lot of high frequency into the actual spot try and melt the bone so if you feel any pain then you can let us know or any heat Oh. Mm -hmm. Left foot, right, right. foot. Right foot. It's all green now. There's energy all in it. It's all wrapped all around it. All the way up. As high as your shin. It's all emerald green. All soothing warmth. Healing that whole area your toes, your ankle, the bottom of your foot, all your toes, all lined up. All your bones are all healed. Do you have a pain in the neck as well? No, but I have a lot of, um, I've got sort of really rock hard tension in my shoulders just at the base of my neck. And that's specific, that's sort of focused on the right hand side also. Did you feel anything then? Um, 
I had a few jolts of energy. Um, I'm feeling quite warm in my arms. What about your foot? Is that completely healed and it's a miracle? <laughs> Maybe not. I won't know until I have another x-ray. Um, my, yeah, I, it's tingling. Uh, so mm -hmm. I know there's energy working in there. Yeah, there's a lot of tingling going on there. in there. Um, I didn't really feel any heat in any specific um, part of my foot. Um, but um, I've been experiencing like a cold sensation sort of about halfway down my shin, like at the front of my shin down into my foot. Um, it's, it's, it's quite of icy cold. Mm. The, the healing will carry on for a week anyway. Thank you. It probably needs it for that. It's probably doing it slow. Yeah. yeah. For everyone nice. who received healing today, it'll be uh, another six days of healing. It, it doesn't end today. It, it carries on for six days. Yeah, but for you, Wilma, you get, you, for you, Wilma, you get seven. So that's good. Yeah. Gee, thanks. <laughs> but anytime there's a fracture. Yeah, need longer. Anything that's up. And you want a card? Yes, please. Oh, as well. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think you know what the card what it means because I've had it. Trust. Oh, I knew you'd get trust for me. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I've been waiting for that one to come up for me. Yep, definitely. So no ability. surprises at all. Hmm. <laughs> thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Phil. Um, next, we've got um, Cindy. She would like a healing and a scan. Cindy? Hello. Uh, uh, any specific healing? Um, just I've been really fighting um, depression in the last two or three months. Um, no, more fighting it than I've ever had to. Uh, and I wanted to ask about maybe an attachment. Okay. okay. I, so I feel like something's really draining. Okay. I'll, I'll send uh, Ariel's yellow flame for to, to remove it off, to remove all that pressure. Yeah. You get drained near somebody, near someone particular. Um. I think so. Because mm. I was giving you energy then. I was, you you were taking loads of it. You needed loads of it. So I'll try and put a shield on you as well. To the person you're doing it. just keep seeing this like this dark cloud in that it, wherever she is just like this dark cloud rain cloud inside the house and it's always raining mm -hmm. yeah an umbrella yeah yeah the umbrella has holes in it it's always like it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what i do it's always raining there's never a cloud, there's never a rainbow, it's always raining. That's how it feels. It, it, you're overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. 
So there's something in that house that has to be removed. What is it in that house that has to be removed? It's like you have a weight. There's something sitting on your chest, something pushing down. Mm -hmm. Where is we, it? Where is it? Where is it? There are so many things in my home right now because both of my kids are living here and we're all three sensitive. We we do sage a lot. We do Palo Santo a lot. That's I just... Kids. It's something else. Where do you actually live? What town? In They're in Illinois. I was picking up. Don't know if you can pick this up, Deb. I was picking up some sort of uh, Indian energy. Yes, I did see that too. Mm. An Indian soul that's grounded. Angry. Angry. He's got black paint on his face. Mm. He's got war paint. Do you know how long he's been here well, or with me? He's not with you. It's he's it, it, it's it's only because you're at, you're there. I, I'm I'm on his ground. Ground. I told you that the water in there, the water in that area, has been. Mm -hmm. All right, I have our ancestors that are around us. Mm -hmm. Here, they're they're coming. They're now involved, and he's afraid of them. And I can call mine in. No, send, no. send, send the, we will send the Indian love. Let's right. break, break his anger. Exactly. Very angry. He's very, very angry. And we're trying to not, we're trying to calm him down. The ans He's afraid of the ancestors. We're not trying to bring more fear. We're trying to bring him love. They're the star ancestors. They were here before. They were here before. Okay. He's actually amazed at seeing him. He's actually saying it with you. Yeah. <laughs> he was shocked. It's like they have a, a, a white fire in the middle and they're showing him the white light that way.
who's speaking in sign language to him. Bowing his head. He's found his God spark in his heart and he's now opening his heart. The war paint is gone on his face. He's going to the light. You're going to feel your rain cloud going away. You're going to feel a lightness in your house. He's releasing his hold. Yeah, it feels like a... He's going. I had a blood pressure cuff all over my body and then when it releases, it was just like a slow. Do you feel the difference? Yes, that's what I was saying. It it felt like I had a blood pressure cup over my whole body. And when you started saying he was feeling the love, I could feel this little leak. And you know how when they stop airing you up and it starts yeah. to slowly go to, yeah. that's how it felt to my body, like just a, okay, okay, okay. He, uh, wow. he, when, he when he was leaving, he apologized for me. Yes. Oh, well, bless him. Bless, I'm so glad that he has found a better. Found the reason for that rain cloud. Now let's see if we can heal the water. Okay. Heal the reservoir, heal the water. The ancestors are also healing the water. Heal the groundwater. I'm using the, uh, I'm transmuting it using this crystal. And your card for her. Yeah. Tell him when to stop. <laughs> stop. Is that that one or that one? Ah, it's that, it's that one. <laughs> uh, forgiveness. That forgiveness to the Indian. <laughs> Pardon? Uh, I'll tell you what, what it means. Uh, forgiveness. Forgiveness. Okay. A good card. Right. Is there anyone that you, you ang you've got anger to anyone in your life? Is this someone that you're not happy with? That's yes. Right, right, right. Now I can't do anything about that because he's already, he's gone. 
I mean, he's not God. He's with me. He talks to me all the time. But just that's when I was just feeling so overwhelmed today. I'm like, oh my God, I'm just so ready to go home. And I've never felt that bad before. I mean, not since he died. And I was like, what is going on? Nothing is... Well, here, things working out. I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful for things that I don't even have. I can't even pay some of my bills right now. And, and, and why all the work I'm putting into everything, why is that not working? And that's what was making me really just, I wanted to take a baseball bat to a tree, but I don't love that. I love the trees. I have the trees, but yeah, that's kind of, yeah, who I was angry at. You, you just got to forgive and let go, and that will make you a better person. And, every, and when you're a better person, your vibration increases. It's the only way you can do it. And yeah. Your vibration increases, and then things change. That's true. Yeah. Thank you. I've been trying so hard, but like you said, when there was like the rain cloud, just like the, that's how it's felt since I moved into this place. So this, I feel so much better. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that he was able to move on and we were able to get help and put the water in. So grateful for you guys and our spirits and thank you. You're welcome. Everybody feels like that. So, I mean, this is a human, we're all human. Yeah. Having us, you know, we're spiritual beings having a human experience, so. Right, yeah. those darn human things. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you. And what you're doing now, you're releasing all the, all the stress of it all. You need yeah. To do that. It's wonderful to see. It does feel better. Thank you. I love you guys. It's shame. So just um, count your blessings and leave the rest alone. And you'll see if you focus on your blessings and not the negative things, you'll start seeing things change. All right. We'll have a wonderful evening. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Um, next, Rhonda would like a card, Phil. Shuffle, Phil. Shuffle. Five of cards. Hey, Rhonda. how you doing, hon? Good to see you. Hey. Do I give you the five? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hand it over. That was when. When? Why? Why? Did I shuffled them really well there. Uh huh. And you got forgiveness as well. Oh. You got to forgive, forgive someone. I do. Hmm. Okay. And you'll be a better person. You'll be lighter. Your path will be better. Hmm. You got a second card, so you're not having either. Or do you want some healing? No. <laughs> <laughs> My life is too damn good for that one, hon. G give me another one. <laughs> okay. Health. That was when. When? That, that one. Which one? I'll give you both. <laughs> I'm giving you a reading here. Woohoo! Uh, retreat and playful. Oh, see? Wait, wait, which the cards are, they don't mean one and then the other one. Retreat, you need you need to take a break from your journey, slow down, recoup your energy. Ah, uh, see, now that one hits home. Uh, you, the responsibilities you have fit a bit of fun in, inside it. But don't Say, so, again? Don't be too serious with life. Bit of playful, so fit the playful. Yeah, make, make your inner child grow a bit. Cool. All right. That's perfect. Yeah. Thank mm. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. 
Um, next we've got Janine. She would like a healing on her right lower leg and she has a skin condition that doesn't go. Janine? Hello? Um, yes. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> um, it's, um, it's, it's the skin condition thingies on the right lower leg, like my ankle area. And one side of my ankle was like, I don't know, just itchy red for forever. Um, and I've been trying to work on it since I've been more enlightened and know that I can. And then it's like the more I work on it, now the opposite side of the ankle has it. And it's like, it's growing madly. And the more I work on it, the more it gets inflamed. And I'm like, and I've had healing for it before. So I don't know what's going on. Thank you. Okay, I'll give you healing again. I have heard, I remember someone I saw a few years ago who had similar. And I actually did sex so all that out. But, uh, so you've had all the tests and everything, allergy tests and this, that, and the other. Oh, no, not medical. Sorry. Not medical. I don't know. No. I haven't worked. The universe has been taking care of me for years, so I, I don't have health insurance. So. You're in Florida. Yes. Yes. Well, that good community. Well, I've had you work on with me. Uh, yeah. Everything is good to go. I'm just like, you know, fertile again. But my ankles, not having it. Did you get bit by any red ants? Yes. Years ago. A lot. Recently. Oh, no. One on my arm yesterday was... Yeah, but yeah, not around your ankles, right? No. Getting, trying to get a message, I'm trying to picture it. Okay, he's. It's almost like a fungus. Mm. You wear socks. You only wear flip flops, right? No, I have. <laughs> I have some booties on now because I stay chilly. We keep the house so chilly. I, I, I keep booties on. It's it's. Father's saying fungus. It's a fungus. I've been trying to release it with love as a past life thing showing me something and that's not getting it. Do you do healing? Yes. All right, that's what you did. Right, visualization mm -hmm. in your hand is like Okay, it's not it's, it's not solid and it's not liquid. It's it's like a cream. You're creating a cream, and then you're visualizing the energies, the frequency to fix you, the rash. So as you mix in, mm -hmm. you fix, have you tried this before? Yes. You've tried this before. <laughs> yes, I heard salve. Put put a nice green salve that you make yourself every day on it. No, no, yeah, but this time channel the actual frequency, frequency that okay. will get rid of the actual rush. I've tried to do something, you might have felt a bit prickly there, uh, but it needs added healing. So, so create this cream in your hand, not green. Yeah. It's not my favorite color. Thanks, Raphael. <laughs> <laughs> right? 
<laughs> right? A any colour. The colour you think. In fact, skin colour. That's a skin colour. So you're creating it, you're channeling, you're visualising, you're directing the frequency, the energy to heal. I think it's a, it is an allergy of some sort, isn't it, obviously. And then just wipe it, wipe it into it. Actually, rub it into it. Yeah, in in, in a circle. In a circle. In a circle. Point. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's a circle. And afterwards, you've done that. Mm -hmm. Have a drink of water. Sending love energy to your drink of water. Drink that, and then have some breathing exercises. And visualize in your mind's eye the whatever's doing the problem, grounding it to the floor. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, and I send uh, father's energy to it, and, and um, thank you. But that is excellent. And ground yourself before you get out of bed. Yes, I, I heard you say that uh, recently, and I've been trying to do that before I rise. I think but try try the halo method as well. Yes, I, yeah. I do that when I can. Thank you. I will do that. And, and program the ALO because it's an healing device to, to also help you heal it. Yeah. You're not allergic to cats, are you? <laughs> no. We, we have orphans we're placing in homes as they get bigger, but mm. yes. It's just that <laughs> my mum had a very bad rash on a, a certain breed of cat. Mm. So it could be the cat, you know. It wasn't what it was. It, she had it on her lap when she was young. She's had cats before, but this certain breed gave her a really nasty rash, and I mean from her all up her legs and everything. Oh, so. no! I'm 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 like Lyran. <laughs> I've been Lyran, so no cats are my my jam. But mm. that's interesting. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I can't figure it out. I'm trying. But thank you. I will write yeah. this down to you. You want a card? I have one already and I like it. <laughs> it's uh, guidance. Card. Oh, you got guidance. Yeah, you, you took care of my daughter earlier. Cards are... Right. Okay. The one I just picked for you is, uh, <laughs> is body care. Body care? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, I do that pretty regular, but thank you. This mm. is great. You're welcome. What a night. Okay, we did Sophie's cat. So there he is. Okay. Kathy, Sophie talk. Yeah, okay. Um, Kathy. Kitty, kitty, kitty. I've got Laura Crystals. I got fresh flowers, everything. <laughs> Just to enhance his healing. He looks like he's sleeping pretty good. Yeah, he sleeps all day. He just sleeps. He doesn't move. I think they eat food, not crystals. That was a joke. I still show a curse on him. Yeah, someone in the family wishing him dead. Yeah, a lot of people that like him in the family. It's pretty, it's, yeah, it, it is definitely a curse on him. This isn't like a ritual curse, it's just someone wishing him and it, it's created energy. I don't know why the mirror didn't work. I put a mirror around him so that you see if the, the curse was put on him again, it would go back to the originator. But what it was, Deb, the original one we took off did a lot of damage. <sighs>
Okay, Sophie. Yeah. Yeah. Play play some music for him. No, I do. Can you do me a favor, Phil? So can we do the crystal? Bring the crystal energies like we do with the um to remove toxins from his body. Okay. Do you know, I, I get a very bad throat, like tonsillitis. Um, have they checked his throat, Sophie? He just said he needs, um, he needs, um, he's too fat, but they wouldn't check it. Hmm. Okay, now my niece, great niece, Kyla. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetheart. Um, she has an inoperable brain tumor. She's had it for the last, she's diagnosed about three or four years ago. She's in her 20s. 20, her birthday is this is a, a week, a week and a half. That's her show, 26. It's in a place in that, the, at the bottom of her neck down here. Um, it's inoperable. It, it, the type of cancer it is, um, people don't survive. Um, so she's gone through the radiation, the, the chemo, um, and uh, she's been on two different uh, types of uh, what they call clinical trials. And um, her dad, my nephew, they, they just went through an MRI because before the cancer, it had hollowed out. So it was it was empty and it hadn't grown. Um, this latest MRI uh, shows that it's now grown and spread, I think. And so my nephew is devastated. I don't know where they're going to go from here. Um, I'm assuming they're going to, they're putting in a port, I guess, and they're going to do a, an even more aggressive chemo on her. My sister is devastated because he, she doesn't want her going. This, you know, chemo is just not the move to go. Um, so I would like to try and do what they can. Um, I know that she's an angel. My nephew does not know she's an angel. I know that she chose this cancer as her experience. She doesn't know this. My sister and I both know this. Um, this is the path she chose. I just would like to make it a little bit easier for her if we can. So if we could all um, hold space for her and send her some loving energies and healing energies, I would appreciate it. And to my nephew, his wife, and her mother and her husband, they're, they're divorced, the, the parents are divorced. Um, and my sister who's been lifting her and bathing her and she's in a wheelchair. Right now she can only see out of one eye and use one hand. The, the tumor has advanced that, that much.
just show you. I don't know if you can see her. That is what she looked like before the cancer. She's unrecognizable today. We've gotten everybody. Um, we're gonna we are going away for the month of sep I mean, September, August to visit our kids and grandkids in Florida. So we're taking the month of August off just for webinars. We will have uh, private sessions because we are, are going to be in a house in um, Florida. So uh, we will be checking mail, our mail, and um, checking in on a regular basis. So we will have we'll have our September and on webinars, but no webinars in August unless Phil decides to have some. I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> By himself. I don't know. I'm being tomorrow. So. <laughs> but it's just too hard. Oh, uh, today that being at home to have the webinars um know what our schedule is going to be like on the road so uh i need a little break from the webinars but uh we'll do private healing sessions so from uh, from florida so we uh we'll see you in september mm -hmm. you're in disney world yeah yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, my one son has eight children and two grand and one grandchild. I think Disney World at his house. <laughs> That's a lot of hugging in one day, or as many times as you want to do it. <laughs> Same travels, and we all love you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And you know, I have we we have his brother and I have a sister in uh, Florida, and I have so many. We have twenty. 22 grandkids and two great grandchildren. There's a lot of uh, family to see there, and I have a great aunt. I am, um, I'm sorry, not a great aunt. I have two aunts in Florida that um, are still alive. So, Jen, they're, one's 90. Um, so, yeah, a lot of family. And that's where my husband was raised, and we got married. So our 40th anniversary, we will be in Florida. Oh, well, happy anniversary early. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And I can't wait to see the ocean. <laughs> the pictures all ails. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So in, uh, we'll see you when we get back. And those of you that contact us, we'll see you. We have a few people be on the road. Um, we're going to visit some of the uh, some of our friends from the group. Have a nice time, Deb. Thanks. I passed too, yeah. Get some sleep. <laughs> Jane, can I quickly say something for you? I just feel I've got something for you. Thank you. Thank you. I love your light language. Such a gift. Made me cry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Let me know how your healing went. I expect I expect to get a message from you saying I'm walking normal. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. All right. Take care, everyone. And we'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Bye.